Greetings, this is Dennis Daniels and I use Google Earth to plan a trip. You can too. If you haven't already downloaded Google Earth, do it. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a search for our target city which happens to be Damascus, for me, Damascus, which is in Syria. Damascus, Syria. Uh, control S, Control E. Okay, Damascus, Syria. Let's go to Google Earth and do a search. Damascus, let's see if it works. Damascus and search. And can't tell if it's doing anything. We'll try that again. Search. Guess not. Oh, there it goes. It just did it for us. And it zooms in. Look how nice that is. <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn on the Google Earth. Let's see if I can open that up a little bit. This is going to let me do it. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. I'm going to turn on the uh, Google Earth and the information. There's Damascus. And it's going to take a little while for it to load. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. This looks like, I'm not quite sure, da da, sahat, okay, now this is all of the people who've added information. Um, what I'd like to do is get a Flickr load, well actually I'm in UAE and UAE doesn't like uh, Flickr, so I'm looking at Damascus. Uh, let's go zoom in, um, actually take a look at it, and I'm holding down the shift key. I can see in the distance that there are mountains. Hold down the arrow key, hold down the arrow key and shift, and I can rotate around Damascus. And there we go, uh, get an idea of what mountains are like. Okay, so there's the mountains of Syria. Let's rotate around a little bit. Um, it looks like it's in the middle. Well, let's um, control out and go back up. Control up and Duma. Let's see, Damascus is not too far from the water. Um, right on, what's the name of that, that gulf? Uh, I'm not seeing the name of the Gulf, but we'll zoom back in. Hold down the control key and zoom back in. Oh, it's right next to Lebanon and Israel. Gosh, be nice to visit those places, uh, Lebanon especially. So, um, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Now, <clears throat> again, I'd like to see some more pictures. I don't know, let's see, Panoramio, let me see if Panoramio is providing fees. Panoramio, Panoramio.org, I think, Panoramio. Uh, what I'm looking for are picture feeds. That really helps, um, image feeds. Um, image feeds really helpful when you're going to more, well, if you're doing the search for more liberal entities. Uh, you can actually see pictures of these places. Um, okay, explore the world, see the world, see the world. And this is a, actually a pretty cool site. Let's go control C, Panoramio. Um, I like it. Oops. Control S, control E. And so uh, panoramio.org. Let's see if it's going to load. And it's taking a little time. Okay, but Google Earth Hacks, you also have um, Google Earth Hacks, which also gives some uh, pretty decent um, information. And let's see, is it going to load? It's going to try. It's a little slow right now. But the idea, again, using Google Earth and a variety of feeds you can get pretty sophisticated uh, amount of information. Let's see if National Geographic has anything in Damascus area. Zoom in. Let's see how much actually we can zoom in. 
control and zoom in. Um, again, I'm doing this all through the keyboard. And the res is not too bad. Uh, you get better res in some in better in other cities, but um, this is not too bad. Uh, get an idea for what the traffic looks like. Get a little bit idea of what the city would look like. There's no <clears throat> there's no map overlay, as far as I know. That's a big old roundabout. Uh, zoom out a little bit. See if we can find the airport. It looks like a fairly, well, what are these? That looks like some sort of housing complex. Yeah, How, major housing complex, probably state funded. Um, let's see if we can find anything that looks particularly interesting, like the old town. That looks like the old town right there. Kind of crazy patchwork streets, small houses. Um, so anyway, Gives you a quick idea. Be nice to find more uh, street maps. You can tell just by looking at this, some of the areas. Some areas are older than others, um, and high concentrations of people. So, for example, you get into these outskirts along the mountains here. That could be this little town here. Uh, it's probably going to be older than some of the other areas. So again, it's uh, fun to look at. Definitely worth using if you can get um, as more people become savvy with uh, using the internet. In especially in the Middle East, you're going to see a lot more information coming up. I just turned on lodging and dining. Uh, doesn't look like anything is there. Coffee shops. Let's turn that on. Banks, ATMs, shopping malls, I don't care about that so much. Gas stations, park and recreations, uh, city boundaries. So let's see if any of that, turning on any of that information gives us any more. Zoom out. I should be getting little icons showing more information. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's happening. So Syria or Damascus is not necessarily very well mapped in terms of its lodging and dining, but again, um, fun to check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. And if the screencast was helpful for you, send me an email or visit me at uh, dennisjdaniels.com. Thank you very much for watching and happy computing.